turn 41. So, um, Johnny was here the previous turn, and then he sent one Waven to destroy my fortress, and uh, I didn't see his other units. So I sent a, a, pr a priest here. Especially since his leader has cave concealment, I was worried he would try a uh, solo action and try to attack my throne or, or my city here, even though he doesn't know its location, I think. Uh, but didn't find him. Then I sent my prospector, who was here, up to here on the cave entrance and checked the surface. And lagging, sorry. Yeah, didn't see him. Also, the uh, shrine of the fi to the fecal mermaid is not consumed, but last time it, w it was him who took it. So, if we, if he went to the surface, he should have used it. So I was confused where he was, and then I decided to uh, try a quest that I was given by by my uh, vessel uh, to get a free forge priest, uh, because all the units I can get are are useful, um, and as far as I could tell, that was. Uh, bore riders. So I did this, and uh, appeared just next to, uh, next to the, the quest here I think, and then I I found out where he was. So he's here. And uh, last time I checked, he had uh, and one fire weapon, and here I cannot see uh, the flyer not a fire weapon. So. I'm not sure what they are, and it's also a bit of a concern. Maybe they went. Oh shit! Maybe they went south, and they are going to find the the inn. But defending it with only one unit, I think, is not going to work. Can defend with two. Maybe I should do this. Um, yeah, I think I should do this, so let's go. And let's hope I can beat them if they really come. And then I don't defend this fort anymore, but anyway, it's just bring me mana, it's not really my most important fort. Um, and for myself I don't have any gold so I cannot buy any units. Oh, by the way, turn 41 so this is full again. Um, oh shit, and this is full again and Jean is going to recruit units. So then my second worry was, was Jean and um, he moved a, a cadaver here and I killed it with uh, three units because I was pretty worried by his 90 CP and the spells he could cast. He didn't cast any spell during that battle and he has a huge amount of mana and big in mana income. And then I wanted to check this area so I sent these units to check and I cannot see any enemy units so let's move back. Um, I cast s uh, mana, f mana fuel Cell on my throne to be able to finish the cannon in in one turn. Um, because otherwise, I would ha I would need two turns to finish it. And um, and so next turn I will have the cannon to defend against John, which I expect to come toward me. Uh, and this guy also came here to check this area, and I cannot see any enemy units. Then um, my leader, so he was here, and I had five units in this river, two two more forge priests in this river. I could have actually attacked. Um, I could have attacked uh, Tony, sorry, and sent my forge priest here also, and cast uh, instead of casting mana fuel, so I could have cast uh, spy drone and attacked Tony. But I don't think that six versus five, I would have won because this leader is quite strong. So instead I'm beating my time and moving back my army north, hoping that maybe he will attack and then I can catch him. Um, is, is, by the way, his two 
he has two theocrats heroes at least and I still don't know where they are and I still expect them to be uh, in this area fighting um, someone another player but he made if if it's the case and it it should be the case because his morale is is not that um so his two his two heroes should still be alive so if they are still alive i'm surprised then bring them back to defend his territory um yeah so uh I'm, I I decided to move my units together with my army. So now I've got I've got these units regrouped, and uh, I'm moving north to defend against Jean and, and Johnny. And let's check the experience of the units uh, to to monitor them when they move. Next turn, and this one too. Um, then third issue of the turn is. Um, Oh, actually, I cannot see it anymore. He has the fire wyvern around here that he sent back. So actually, I, it's, I should have not moved uh, this fairy before the video because now I cannot record the, the experience of the f of the wyvern. Um, so I I thought about it for a very long time. I had different options. One was to send my three units to attack the wyvern, including this one. But they're all in low health and Johnny has some pretty powerful warlord spells so I decided uh, it was too risky I may lose all my units if he got some good spells and um, but at the same time I really want to get the gold from the plundering which should be at least 600 gold because as you can see I'm very very low on gold and so I decided to keep my units here because he has 50 CP and disjuncting uh, Scorch Earth cost 45 and it's 50% chance of success. So uh, he can cast it dis and maybe disjunct it and then take it with his uh, weapon. Whereas if I stay here, I think he has very low chances to take it with the weapons, even if he casts spells. And if he casts spells, then he cannot uh, dispel the scorch earth and then he would destroy his throne so that's already better than nothing and I don't think he sent units from this uh, city to, to to there because I checked and if he wants to move through here because of the mountain and the wetland um, he would not have enough movement points as far as I could tell so I hope I didn't make a calculation mistake and this way it would be faster but then I checked it with the ferry so so now I'm moving the ferry here holy shit so now I know where the two units are and they are going to move right through my ferry. That sucks, but well, no choice. Um let's let me think a little. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going to stay there because anyway, uh disbanding it is not really a big change and if I keep it I, I may cause some damage to them and when he sees with with his weapon here that uh, I stayed there maybe he will st stop moving south and maybe will move here so they may not find the ferry in the end so that's uh, weapon with 3 XP and flyer with 4 um, so that's the solution for this uh, that I chose then I'm probably going to move on this uh, ice berries and go check uh, Jean in this area check his army because I'm just below him with my my secondary army led my by my theocrat, so that's the fourth problem. Though I built this watchtower and now I'm seeing a bit better here, um, and there was dirt cavern wall here, and what I did was to uh, clean it with uh, prospector, but then I cannot move out without revealing myself. So actually, if Jean checks the map, he should see that I'm clearing it here, but cannot know my units. Uh, so I had to send one of the boar here. I moved my army here and dig this dot cavern here because uh, I want to be able to move to the to the um, vessel of Jean in one turn, and that's exactly this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven x. But there is actually this. Uh, yeah, I didn't calculate this in actually. There is this uh, dense vegetation that's going to to be a pain in the ass. Uh, so I will need to build uh, a <laughs> little road here and then 
I can exactly move here to build a bridge uh, in theory. So I should be able to bu build a bridge here, some roads, and go attack Jean. The good thing is that I've got Divine Justicar. So if my hero don't die, uh, which I hope he won't, uh, he should stay behind casting spells in theory. I sh could be able to. I should be able to take this city with big losses, but then they br they come back with Divine Justicar. So that should be good. So that were the four uh, issues I wanted to show this turn, and um, in terms of production. Um, so I'm finishing the cannon, uh, la launching a new Dwarfforge Priest, hoping that I will get more gold from the plundering, otherwise I'm in trouble. And um, and so yeah, I cast Scor Scorch Earth, Mana Fuel Cell, Someone Rich, Draconian, uh, Racial Governance, level 3. So I guess that's one of the player, that's probably the player here, because the other ones are Frostling and... and uh, Dwarfs and and it's not John, it's not Johnny Tender. Thanks for watching. See you next time.